with George's brothers and, and sister and their spouses and their children. I write in my book how I was an only child and I knew it was a great disappointment of my parents that they didn't have more children and so it was a disappointment for me as well. I wanted brothers and sisters. And so when I married George, I got those brothers and, and a sister and, and that's been really wonderful. An only child too, so they're special yeah. people. So here you are. Um, you mentioned that your dad is a die-hard Democrat, mm -hmm. yet you're married to the most famous Republican <laughs> family in the United States. Um, how did you reconcile that? Well, actually, everyone in Texas uh, were die-hard Democrats uh, up until, really, Mr. Bush was one of the fir uh, first uh, Republicans who started, built the Republican Party in Texas. Now, everyone in Texas are Republicans, just about. So. Uh, I mean, not everyone, of course, but a big, big number of people. My dad loved George, and uh, you know, whether he was a Republican or a Democrat, either way. Um, you talk also in the book about hot social issues. You talked about abortion, gay marriage. Um, now you're talking about it publicly, but during your time in, when you were in the White House, you couldn't. Do you think that because it could have harmed the president's uh, chances of re-election? Well, actually, I knew that I was not the one elected. Uh, and I'm very understanding of George's positions on both of those issues. I, I totally understand them and have sort of a slight ambivalence about those issues myself, really, because of, the, uh, because of knowing how he feels. And um, I, I knew I was not the one elected, and I wanted to do whatever I could to support him while we lived there in the White House, and, and I did. You know, I worked on the issues that I had expertise in, like education or literacy and uh, founded the National Book Festival, uh, those sort of things that, um, that also promoted the, uh, the same issues that he was working on when he worked on education reform and, and uh, making sure every child in the United States got a great, great education. Of course, traditionally, the First Lady is not supposed really to talk about politics. Well, I think the First Ladies can, and we know they do. Many, many First Ladies have. Um, and I did talk about politics. I campaigned for, for Republican candidates and um, talked about a lot of issues. You know, certainly I was very outspoken about in my support for the women of Afghanistan and for education for women and girls everywhere, worldwide, um, and for women's rights to make sure that women are treated um, in a fair and just and, and treated with respect in every country. Um, you also told me uh, before in previous interviews that the president had many advisors, yet you are the closest, you are the confidant. Did he share decisions, important decisions, like for example when he went to war in Iraq? Did you know about it? Oh yes, of course. absolutely. I mean, I, um, and I write that, write about that in the book, you know, in those months uh, before when we, when the uh, United States and other countries uh, kept asking Saddam Hussein to disclose, disarm, or, or uh, um, you know, even when we were hoping that he would leave, uh, that he would go into exile. All of those months that led up there were very high tension months, but worrisome months where George worried and I worried. And when I looked back at my schedule when I was writing in the book, I saw that even our girls felt so anxious that uh, one of them came home from spring break and for spring break and spent a whole week with us, you know, wanting to be there with her mother and dad. And uh, Jenna did, the, the other daughter did the same, spent half of her spring break there. And then I noticed that a lot of our really closest friends, our, our best friends from growing up in Texas, also came uh, that month to be with us in, in Washington. And I think there was just a very, very strong feeling of anxiety and tension across the United States as we worried. and. Uh, all Americans were worried, but you know, I knew George, of course, was the most worried. And uh, when I looked back, I could see that our friends and, and our family came to be there uh, with us to, to um, support us emotionally. Not to come talk about issues, right. uh, but just to be there with George. But as you know, the war in Iraq has caused thousands of lives on the Iraqi side and the American side. Looking back, do you think it was justified? I do think, I think it was. I think that, um, no, I don't think anyone would suggest that they wish Saddam Hussein was there. Um, I hope that Iraq can stand up a good uh, democracy. It looks like they have. They've had a number of elections um, that, that um, have been, you know, considered fair and, and free and, 
and I think that's very, very important. I hope that both in Iraq and Afghanistan, uh, that the citizens there will come together and build their countries in good ways so that their countries are just countries and protect the rights of all their citizens, women and men and children. And I think they have the chance to do that now uh, in both countries. And it's gonna be really very important there for, for uh, the people to realize that when you build a democracy, it requires everyone's participation. Um, and I hope people will know that and will start really to try to work for, uh, to be engaged in their government and in their countries and be constructive and, uh, and build good countries. One of the things I also noticed in the book was um, that actually after the fall of Saddam Hussein, you found a picture of, of your d daughters, uh, no, Barbara I and Jenna. No. I mean, the Secret Service found a picture there in the uh, Palace of Hudayi, which is Saddam's son. <laughs> and they, they informed you, and you were worried because you thought they might be a target for assassination? Well, no, I would, did not. I wouldn't, wasn't worried about that. I, I just, you know, it just sent a chill through me, really, to think that they had Barbara and Jenna's pictures up. Our troops found it. The troops found it, right. And wh why would they think they kept it in the, in the I palace? Don't know. No, I have no idea. Um, also, I wanted to go back to another um, day that is very memorable and probably changed America forever, which is 9-11. Mm -hmm. um, you talk in the book about uh, what happened, where, where you were at the time, but also you told us about um, the story where a plane was circling around the White House and you and the President were whisked into a bunker. W tell us the moment, what happened there? Well, that night, um, this was after the uh, planes had crashed into the World Trade